Ohio gozaimasu. Welcome back to Kenshi. Our little torso has made it so far across the desert and found limbs. We can't even fathom his progress. The way of the ninja truly is remarkable. But today, we develop the true ninja virtue of discipline. Join me in our quest. The way of the ninja is known by discipline. Only by only by training the six essential traits can we assume the way of the ninja and train Torsolo. Welcome back, my friends. Our character has grown a lot. Torsolo now is of greater strength, stealth, athletics, and the ability to assassinate people. And he's fighting uh, holy nation citizens who discriminate against him. He's actually winning fights. He's no longer such a loser. But let's take it through this one. 22-22. Looks like the torso is in good condition these fights. He'll gain some dexterity. He needs this for his training. But a more sacred weapon would be the katana. And so we'll unsheath this holy blade. And so unsheath... Fuck. And so unsheathing this holy blade, Torsolo fights and damages the evil citizen who discriminates against him for no reason for his robot limbs. And let's just loot him. Everyone is bad but me. And now I'll sell his shirt and pants. We will train our stealth in obvious places. I know this takes a lot longer than usual, but the way of the ninja is safety first. Just get out of my way. Patience is a ninja virtue. And in this fashion, we will just maximize our stealth. Uh, there's, there's no real way around this. We just gotta do this. The way of the ninja is also getting ch- Ah, uh, here we go unjustly accused of things. And so we'll fight against these, uh, we have- Somehow we've earned the, uh, enmity of the Holy Nation Outlaws. But a ninja sees that every battle is an opportunity to learn, and every baddie, and every battle, an opportunity to profit as well. Still, our town is filled with criminals who laugh at the way of the ninja, whom we will dispose of, and, uh, f Ooh. Well, why would you just say, okay, okay, goodbye, goodbye. And guards, guards! Come guards, quick, come quick guards. There we go, okay. And every, every opportunity is a learning, uh, yeah. No, don't, don't fight the guards, please. Switch back out to that. Much better, much better. And wonderful, wonderful, this man has a blade I desperately want. And I will loot him and have his coat. He can have mine. It's like playing with Barbie dolls. But with people. Ooh, can't take shoes. And his extremely valuable blade is mine. Suddenly, it's like dress up, but with people. And oh, now I have expensive shit. And I'll have your expensive shit as well. No, it's not even, doesn't even provide any armor coverage. Suddenly, my life isn't so much bullshit. Suddenly, everyone I encounter is just practice. Practice for what comes next. Good, good job, Torsolo. I did say the way of the ninja required patience. And there's a lot of being patient here when we beat up other people. <laughs> It would be interesting to do a morally sound playthrough of Kenshi. No, we'll save that for another time. Hmm, Red Rover, Red Rover. I'm going to assassinate the bar thug. Wow, he had some good shit. I'll have his hat. I like his hair, though. I can always just get plastic surgery on my hair. And I'll switch out his shirt, which is better than mine. His pants are also better than mine. The boots, uh, you know, some things in life. At least his nodachi or Nodaki, whatever it is, it's mine. And sell them to the guy right behind him. Let's take his armor. Oh, it wasn't a guy. Sorry, it was a woman. Well, uh, okay, yeah, remove him. I mean her. She was not fit to be here. I didn't even get to use her for combat. She won't be too happy with me in the next 15 seconds. I just imagine the confusion when she wakes up. Okay, I'm being encountered by the dust bandits in town. I can just make fun of them here. But let's go inside and get some allies. Make it like the Battle of Thermopylae. Just fight them in the entrance. And in this way, we can cheese the combat and become ninja masters. Oh shit, he's actually hitting me. I need to get hit on the chest and the stomach and so on and so forth because uh, this character has almost no way of gaining t You just went through the wall. Well, anyway, this character has no way of gaining toughness, uh, you know, by hit being hit in the limbs, so. That practice is valuable for him. Fortunately, I can take their stuff as well and sell everything back. I know it's hard to be naked, but at least you all have your appendages, so. Are any of you still alive? I was looking forward to 
healing you all and then releasing you from town at once for more experience. No, no. Well, on to more people. Uh, I have a new house, apparently. The owners seem to have disappeared. I'm back again. Okay, hello, Barthug. How are you today? Go bugger your... That's pretty mild for what I just happened. You seem to have a, an arrow sticking out of your butt. Let me go, let me help you with that. Oh, there we go. All right, well, you have a good day now. I'll just be grabbing some contracts. The Pacifier, a guidance for a troublemaker. The Red Bandit. And the one I'm really looking for is the Dust King. The Dust King is a wanted criminal. He's very strong, and when I kill him, I, uh, I get a lot of money. Or bring him alive. Bring him alive. But I have world domination on my mind. So to do that, there's a few prerequisites. First off, we need to become actually strong. For that, I'll need to train. We're actually onto bigger targets than just the simple training dummies in here. We can't actually gain any more melee experience. And most of the rest we could get out in the wild. So let's go find people. People to bother, and I know just where people to bother are. If we go a ways down these cliffs, we should come to a crossroads. And now, coming up on a whopping 70 stealth points. In these crags, there's usually a group of dust bandits. Perhaps not the safest enemies, but always willing to fight. Oh fuck, what did I- I must have- t I, did, I did something wrong. I think maybe it was the Holy Nation escaped- escaped Holy Nation servants I fought. Either way, I fight for myself. I fight for myself. I'm weird, there's no dust bandits up here. Kind of a bummer, really. Ah, hungry bandits, just what I was looking for. Let's get into sneak and- Oh no, they're dust bandits. Well, a better opportunity. Now, I don't even have limbs that they could hack off anymore, so... The worst that they could do is kill me, and... While that would be bad, I'm not scared of them. See, death is just another way every ninja knows. Ah, an even better find now. Hungry bandits. Hungry bandits and s hungry bandits begging slavers for food and ah uh, that was liquid experience we won't get that they'll certainly lose hello everyone I am here and the dust bandits are gonna get into it with the slavers too this is a three faction war I'm just trying to figure out who to fight for experience I'll take out the hungry bandits. No, don't fight me. I'll just take whoever's down at the end of the fight. It's a scavenger's dream. I'll help the hungry bandits against the dust bandits. Oh, I think that the slavers will win this one. Yeah, my money's on them. There's a great opportunity at money, though. Okay, let's just not get wounded. <laughs> Literally grabbing people's stuff in the middle of the fight. Okay, I'll take this slave monger's stuff to- No, don't hit me, I wasn't involved. Run away again. Mm, hungry bandit, hungry bandit. Slave monger down. That's a lot of green. Uh, another one, okay, his stuff. It's mine, all mine. That's about as well as we can do here. Time to make a sale. And we won't make a lot here, but enough to do. But I have a better idea now. Our limbs, though, on are- Trash. They're trash, let's face it. They all detract from our skills, and we need to literally remove our limbs to be better at anything. So I need a whole new set of Iron Man limbs. Things that, instead of just compensating, will actually upgrade me. And for that, we need to go somewhere else. Somewhere much more out of the way. Oh, hungry bandits, I'll need them. You'll make for a good point in my training montage. Ooh, shit. Well, after I get the crap kicked out of me for a while. Wow, you're really not too- oh, he's not dexterous at all yet. Okay, please just take my food, please just take my food. Good, he didn't take my sword. I forgot to mention that you need to train your dexterity a lot. And your toughness before you can get anything going from a zero stat character. We'll need to get beaten up several more times if we want to truly conquer the world. I was knocked unconscious with my eyes open. I'm tougher now, though, at a whopping 20 points. Ah, uh, I'm healthy again. Time to run away somewhere new. And after fighting more hungry bandits... Ooh, we're actually decent against them now. Gaining more toughness. Thank you for not taking too much. We're ready for a new adventure. So after a few more assassination attempts, and getting our shit pushed in, and pushing in others' shit, we're ready for a major purchase. Oh shit, no, run, run. Leave me alone. I just wanted you to beat me up once. I'm starting to look like I belong in Fallout. Excellent. The ninja way involves pain. Pain of deprivation. It also involves violence. Undeserved violence, and plenty of it, with the needy. In this way, we've already risen six toughness levels in the last couple minutes. All the while, keeping the stakes fairly low. Another way we can train is by hauling around backpacks full of iron, and fighting passers-by, and discovering Squin. I have only a few items of business here. First, get beaten up outside the city walls. 
for no reason. Heal myself. Get looked at suspiciously by the guards. Talk to this person. Buy a thieves backpack. Buy food and a sleeping bag. And believe it or not, that'll actually take me to about the mid game. There's not a whole lot you have to do in Kenshi to get good. At least if you're just talking about one character. Tonight I'm sleeping in someone else's bed. Tomorrow I continue in the ways of ninja discipline with some hard labor to remind me of the gulag and all of the lessons that I learned there. I'll also be interrupted. I need to learn to handle these distractions and not lose focus. Weirdly, these guys- no. I was just gonna say that they don't take stuff- They take stuff out of your backpack now? What the hell? I thought they didn't do that. That's why I kept food in my backpack. Damn it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need to wake up and aggro them and bring them back to the city. I need my food back. That was very- That was very mean of you, I think. Never do that to someone. Okay, we are running after them now. Come on, give me my shit back. Tack and run, 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 run. Get back to the city. Mom! Mom! Help! Oh shit. Come on, no. Oh, will I ever get him back at this rate? This is why we need to be faster. I forgot to drop all the iron. Okay, just drop off the iron. Quickly, quickly do all that again. And then, okay, we got two off. Maybe one of these guys has my food. Please come back with me. Don't knock me out before we get the- uh, okay. Wow, this is really bad. These are the weakest enemies in the game. Come on, Tor Solo, you can do better than that. We at least need to separate them from their comrades. Okay, good. Guards! Guards! Help, help, uh, guards. Good, okay, you fight them and I will bring back the other people who hurt me. Not not after I get a little bit of combat experience, though. Good, good, good. Thank you, guards. I think this might be the guy who took my shit. Uh, nope. Taking his shit, though. And the- uh, uh, fuck, we didn't get the right one. Uh, they're all the way out there now. Will I ever get them back? I really needed that food ration. Hell, I guess it's worth it for the toughness XP. Come on, fight me again. I just need a little bit more ass kicking. Good, good, okay, we got them. Good. <laughs> Okay, wow, we are really slow. That's not even encumbrance, that's just the robotics. We are just that horrible. And damn. Okay, well, it got them to go back the other way. Okay, just lead them back over. There's actually a bar right over there that we could lead them to. If only we're fast enough. Uh, fuck. Come on, just deke him. Deke him a little bit. Deke him, Torso. You can do it! You can do it! You can do it, Torso Solo. We have to get only over there. If we can get over there, we can get our food back. Eh, fuck. Come on, good. Get up, get up, get up. Persistence, persistence. There we go, there we go. Come on, just a few more feet. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, fuck. I may not get that food back. There they go, there they go, with more outlaws. They've turned back and forth. Literally disappeared into thin air. Well, that's Kenshi for you. Oh no. There they go. There they go. Give me my food. Give me my food. Come on, back to Kanoha. Back to Kanoha. Yes, there they come. Thank you, guards. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Good, good, good. Ah, oh, these ninjas are units, man. They are units. Eh, take that and that. In this. There. Please give me my rations, for Christ's sake. No, you don't have them. You don't have them. You have them! Got caught stealing! Okay, I'm picking him up then. He's got my food on him. Sorry, I'll just be taking him with me. This man stole from me. I'll keep him in my watch. There we go. Hey, he didn't get all of my food. He ate most of it, though, the dingus. Okay, I'm going to make love to him, you know, so that he remembers not to do this anymore. Ah, he's awake. An opportunity. I'll just de-equip these. Or do this. And he's run- No, before he runs out of- Blood. There we go. Get, teach you a lesson. Yeah. There we go. Unconscious for 3,000 seconds. And probably a lot more. Don't take my food. This is the hard way of life in this game. Now that this guy is such a unit, it's time to train our strength with some iron backpacks. We can do this by mining in the day and then traveling everywhere at night. But don't forget about getting beaten up. Holy shit, I, I don't want to die. Being a ninja means knowing when to run, too. And also being able to run fast. Okay, fight me. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Well, they can't cut anything else off. Good, and they're hurting each other unintentionally. Guards, guards! And this will be kind of fun. I actually like when a big group of them comes into town. Always a good chance for some toughness. Please don't let me fight alone, though. Now, the goal here should be to get your ass kicked as much as possible in the safest way possible. So, more katana, you know, dexterity, and so on and so forth. It's actually quite a good fight for- Ooh, he's getting the shit kicked out of him. But in a safe place. In a safe place. We actually got knocked out there. Pretty badly, but so did all of them. I can repair, and we make a lot of money. Oh shit, they knocked the barman unconscious. I've never seen that before. The bar thug's just in the middle of all of it. 
Oh, and they actually had ranged weapons on them. I'll be damned. Not great quality, but I get to start. This was a, a decorative way to throw out the uh, dust bandits. <laughs> Playing with a character like Torsolo, though, you'll start to see that his power scales exponentially. He he starts off really weak, and then once he can take out one group, he can start to gain experience from them. And, you know, the skill acquisition is exponential too, so it might not seem that impressive at first, but... Later on, he'll be able to take out entire squads. Looks like we've got another opportunity. More dust bandits. Can he take on one? The others have just abandoned him. Man, he... Uh, can he actually fight one now? It's a fairly even match, but at least he gets a lot of combat experience from this. We need him to get more duels like this if he wants to get good with the katana. Now katana level 10, and he can in fact beat one in a fight. This is a victory. I mean, he'll need to fight more, but at least he can win 1v1s. And unfortunately, we can't actually access the inventories of these dust bandits who have uh, wandered out here. We can pick them up though and put them down and then raid take them that way. And suddenly he vanished. Well, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Well, on the other hand, we know, you know, on the other hand, we are now rich and we can go buy the limbs that I wanted. Oh shit, more uh, escaped holy servants. Why did I earn their enmity? Not, not a smart idea, but at least we can. Okay, here we go. This is the ultimate way of gaining strength. Carry a dead guy on your shoulder and just block attacks with the other hand. Get hit in the ass. This is how we get stronger. Use ninja guards to our own advantage. Sell all their stuff. In this way, we're actually training our character to become stronger when he gets better limbs. Like, he may suck right now, but there'll be a moment when it'll be like, bam, kablam, kablam, he's so much better. Let's grab the rest of the iron and grab a guy. There we go. Start mining out the middle. And wowzers, now we're gaining uh, strength at 50% for, uh, for our strength XP gain. We've actually optimized the speed at which we're gaining strength and athletics. It can't be too much. We're gonna put down this dead guy right before I go to bed. And then tomorrow morning, we'll just wake up our new buddy and we'll just walk around a while while we train that strength up. And hopefully we'll make our way over to the Deadlands or the Ashlands. I can't remember what you call them, but they're there and they have better limbs. Better limbs for me. Is my current limbs? I hate to say it, but they're shit. Okay, we're moderately improved now. It's time to set out on our next journey. A journey of strength. 40 miles an hour is also a normal running speed for Kenshi. We just got a naked guy running all across the desert. Wow. Okay, let's just fight him, because that's usually going to be good in Kenshi. Especially with all of this extra gear, fighting a naked guy shouldn't be such a, a difficult fight for us. This is a rare opportunity. Very family-friendly fight. And wow, his strength is just... It's just kablam. It's just really increasing right here and great great fun now, he didn't actually have very much so we'll just leave him there and you know we're good people so we'll first aid him you know get up that's okay and i'm just gonna run away from him now and he'll run away from me goodbye goodbye you were a lesson worth having now as i was saying in kenshi if you run around with a 20 pound dumbbell by the end of your journey you'll actually be running faster and you'll have gotten stronger. See, we're already losing our strength XP gain percentage because we've already gotten a level or two stronger. So by the time that we get to the robots or the skeletons, whatever you want to call them, we might be going at full speed. So we'll just use a few opportunities along the way to mine more iron we see lying on the side of the road and add that into our inventory. Not a traditional way of training, maybe, but it works. And wow, it seems there's some sort of bandit, dust bandit convention down there. We'll want to avoid that and just walk around. Ninja discipline tells us to avoid conflict and sh wow the hungry bandits actually won this one. Uh, all right I'll fight you. You know I'll fight you with all of my strength stuff too because it's gonna it's gonna train my strength like a lot. Like although you get your ass kicked it's it's definitely worth it. They're probably gonna take my food but I'll be stronger later. And there we go down just like I thought and yeah they grabbed my food. All right let's pick up my dead guy and be moving. Ah uh, now after many days of wandering around Seemingly aimlessly, getting to 36 strength by carrying this dead guy around on my shoulder, and a backpack full of iron. Well, actually, it's in the inventory, but it, it works out. We come to the most perilous step of our journey, the robot land, covered in acid rain and burning, screeching robot parts. The Deadlands, y y you don't want to get stuck in the Deadlands. It's very easy to die here. Tread with caution and don't get caught out alone if you're slow. Now, fortunately, this jacket should protect me from most of the par- Ooh, I almost got struck by lightning. Yep, yeah, mostly my jacket should pr protect me. Mostly. And Black Desert City lies at the center, housed on a hill. It's actually not such a bad place. And what we do next may come as a surprise. We're going to sell a lot of our items. We'll buy a 
masterwork scout leg and sell our old right leg. Mainly, I just want to be able to run. That's pretty much the first ingredient for a decent character. So we'll put that on. And now we're already running at 20 miles an hour. We'll sleep in the robot. Oh, we can't afford that? Well, damn, I know a place where we can do it for free. Now our character's able to run at about twice the speed of before. I know it doesn't seem like a lot for one journey. We just got a uh, scout leg masterwork, but it's the best one in the game. And we have three more limbs that need replacing. Imagine how strong we'll be by the end of this. We can't fight yet, but we can run away. And when we replace my arms, we'll be able to fight. And when we can fight, then we can conquer the world. I mean, just look at his right leg. It's like twice the HP of the other ones now. We have wear damage. We can get rid of this with our other limbs. But I want to start with the strongest ones from each one. Then when our character is strong, we can do the last of our... Sh Ooh, don't... Get in there. Do not swim in the acid. I don't know why they don't path around that. But after that, we can take contracts and start earning a lot more money. We're now able to outrun bandits. Yep, Torsolo can escape from threats. As we all know, becoming Roadrunner is the first step in any successful Ken Kenshi playthrough. Ooh, here we go. We've actually come upon the uh, Dust King's hideout. Might as well do it here. And we're level nine. Oh shit! Uh, they wanna, they wanna, get, they wanna get in. Let's wait for them to. Yeah, I wasn't doing anything. Weird, but I actually wanted it for the lock picking skill, and we actually managed to pick the lock. We could just keep doing this forever to gain the skill. Wow, I did not know you could just max out a skill that way, but it is the ultimate game of spam. Spam and cheese. Ah, there he is, the Dust King. He's far too strong right now, but we'll come back for him later. Later when we're stronger. Oh, they want to kill me. Yep. Okay, we are running. We are getting out of here. And we can outrun them. And let's see if we can fight two Dust Bandits. That's it. They've been shackled, so they're good practice. It looks like these guys got into a bad encounter with some slave mongers. That was pretty easy. It's just a sign we're getting stronger. We want a 2v1, grab their stuff. Now the best way to improve in Kenshi is always by fighting and scavenging other people. And so I proudly take that up with these hungry bandits now, whom I encounter with complete confidence. And will we over- it still might be too many, but we should get better soon. Yeah, we got our asses kicked. All in good time though. Uh, more humans. More ass whooping. Better hits now. Now, much better hits. Go, Tor Solo. Go. Get more of that green. Get that good green. Fighting five is way easier than fighting 20. Now, if we want to make money fast, we're going to need to use this... Or stealth. Go, we'll need to steal these things from behind a wall. I guess that means that we could do the same thing with these. I'll just take all of this. Committed many crimes in the last two minutes. From behind the walls. Don't look suspicious. Tools, cup, gears. I'm actually out of room. Goodbye, town. I'll just do this several times and then we'll get rich. Well, we found a wandering assassin. He's a shinobi, though. And... Nope, nope, nope. And nope. How about now? And uh, guards, guards, uh, help, help, help. Please help. Please help someone. He knows better than to attack me. Come on, come at, come at me, bro. Good, I got one hit in. <laughs> He's forced to walk to me. Let's first aid myself. Good, come closer, come closer. Good, come, come. Come. Good. Okay. Come on. Come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I shouldn't have tried to fight somebody good. I let money get the better of me. Uh, more opportunities at stealing. Hmm, I wonder. If I go under the stairs, like right here, can I get that? I could totally take the dried fish off the table in front of them. Most unexpected. That's why I love this game. Okay, what if I go outside? Okay, you can't, you can't seem to... Right, can you? Okay. Okay. The ultimate heist. Stealing through the wall. No, it can't be done. Ah, so close. What about the other bar? One, two, three, four, five, six. I just got like everything. Not that bad, not that bad. Yep, I can totally do that. Okay, now, these are people that I've had in my party before in the game. Okay, what about this? Can I do this? Yep. That's totally fine too. I can take from Rain the Giant. I feel kind of bad. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, how about Soto? Please, please, please. Ah, uh, ooh, that was weird. It's like it failed and succeeded. And just grab his weapon. Yep, more valuable. You can have these boots. I'll put put everybody's clothes on everybody else before I leave. And leave, leave. Oh, nobody minded that. And the guards were totally okay with me just stealing everything from town. Sell everything. We're making out like thieves. Wait, we are thieves. And I now have a whole new set of ideas. We're still not good enough at assassination to make some of these attempts. We were good enough with you. Oh, we've got a 92% chance with you. I'll go on that. Okay, Bean Hop. Sorry, man. We could totally just do this for everybody. He won't expect anything when he sees me with his hat on. I love it how the bartender just watches me do that and then accepts it. It's gonna increase our chances of stealth KOing Logan. Right now we've got a 92% chance on him. Thunk, grab all of his stuff. He actually has some decent stuff on him too. And sell that to the barman. Yeah, he has good armor. Can sell some medicine now. And wow, that's just making us progressively better and better at assassination. He won't even- <laughs> he's, he's getting kicked out.
<laughs> Bean Hop's just like, yeah, yeah, that happened. And I forgot we were hostile with these people. I actually tried to break in on them before and just fight them. Or some wrong... Some assassination attempts that went less than favorable for us. But we can always run back to our own home. Albeit with a limp. Oh shit, uh, I didn't realize that the guards helped me with this fight. Jeez, okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh wait, no, they don't like me either? Ooh. Oh no, I'm an enemy of the state. Okay, run away, run away. Shinobi citizens fighting the- their own guards. I- I think I messed up everything here, but whatever, no skin off my nose. Just loot everyone and run away. We'll never come back here. And these things are actually pretty valuable. Yeah, I'm glad we got this. More stuff. I'm literally looting ninjas right now. Oh shit. <laughs> we don't stand a chance here. We just picked a fight with a ninja. Well, maybe. It'll be more experience. Yeah, we are- we are screwed. Well, we're done with the shinobi. Oh wait, no, this is holy. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. Oh, we beat him! Damn. Still take it. And you know what? While Swift is so weak right now, I may as well try to fight him. Yeah, let's go attack him. Just out of nowhere. More combat experience, even if I get beat up. He's a strong dude, too. Probably not a bad dude in any way. I just don't really know anything about this NPC. And he's going to kick the- I'm not even gonna- s fuck. Oh well, I deserved that. I don't even think I got a single hit off of him. Jesus. Okay, run. 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 I'm really starting to like assassination. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, and we got it. Oh, I didn't know that they would be pissed oh, Come on, I just assassinated like three other people a second ago. Okay. Alright, I'm leaving. I'm removing myself. And here we go. I've actually needed to go out to the Hyver Villages before I, uh... My one last hit. They offer pretty good prices. I think it's only about 200 for a bed rental. It's very relaxing. Now the last adventure will be getting chased by Garu to Squin, and then selling their meat to the Squin Knights. Squin Knights. Whatever they are. Squin residents. The people of Squin. Oh, and it looks like Dust Bandits are gonna join us. Okay, I'll make a huge profit here. I have a lot of company. Oh, maybe we could just, you know, set them all off against each other. I, it's hard to tell who's winning, I though I think that it's the Dust Bandits. Okay, I can bring them in too. And they're far slower. I love using the local authorities to help me. Here we go. Thank you. Help me against the bad people. And crap, they just took them all prisoner. Oh, we can still grab the Garu. Ooh, this guy had a lot of good stuff. He was a pacifier. Jeez. Blackened chainmail. Like his pants. I don't even think that he knows what I did to him. And one more. <laughs> she just saw me do this. No one saw. Now I'm sitting here. Okay, okay, let's loot her. Take that and sneak away. Bring those back to the hub and sell them there. Sell these things. Although we might not be getting a lot for it, it's enough. Time to get beat up again. But now we are doing more of the beating. We might even get a few of them out, especially with such a large weapon. Okay, okay. Take my rations, but I'm stronger. I'm stronger. And one last time, off into the nether, and I'm buying a KLR series right arm. First we do the right side, then we get onto the left side later. And there it is. Looks- actually, it looks kinda cool. The old ones look more claw-like, but this one looks like a real hand. We'll run it back to the main area. Now, I know that you might be wondering, why wouldn't you go for the leg, but... What's the point of running any faster now? But I can't yet fight all these. I'll need to lead them all the way back. Or just let them go. Either way, I think we'll leave it there for today. We acquired new right limbs and uh, all I really wanted to say is uh, let's be true to our origins. Anyway, we'll leave it there. There's still plenty of room to grow. We've come so far, now at 39 strength, 50 toughness. We've come so far, you can see for yourself. And there's only more room to go. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this and uh, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Oh, ooh, geez. Let me know if you have any, uh, <laughs> any ideas of future enemies to take down, because he's, uh, he's getting stronger, but only, only bit by bit. Alright. Bye-bye.